والنهارده كان في يعني حرص من المستشار الالماني اولف شولتس على القاء كلمه مسجله اذيعت النهارده في هذه المناسبه المستشار الالماني اكد على اهميه عمق العلاقات والشراكه ما بين مصر والمانيا بشكل عام وخصوصا كمان مع سيمز الالمانيه من خلال هذا العقد وهذا المشروع العملاق واللي بيعزز طبعا العلاقات الاقتصاديه المتينه ما بين القاهره وبرلين وده طبعا في ظل يعني تزامنه مع احتفال سيمنز العالميه بمرور 175 سنه على تاسيسها وزي ما قال يعني رئيس الشركه النهارده قال المشروع اللي بيتم على ارض مصر ده هو اضخم مشروع تقوم به سيمنز من وقت تاسيسها من 175 سنه. President Al Sisi, Prime Minister Matbouli, Ministers, Dr. Bush, Excellencies and Distinguished Guests. 110 years ago, the famous German writer Thomas Mann traveled to Davos, where I am participating in the World Economic Forum today. Unlike me, Thomas Mann took the train. He captured that trip in his novel, The Magic Mountain, and I quote, he looked out, the train wound in curves along the narrow pass. He could see the front carriages and the laboring engine vomiting great masses of brown, black and greenish smoke. One thing is certain, Egypt's modern 21st century trains will look very different. There will be no great masses of smoke, nor will travelers feel that the engine of the train are laboring with difficulty. Instead, rail travel in Egypt will be fast and clean, comfortable, affordable and safe. It will also be much easier to transport goods. With this major investment, the Egyptian government has taken a bold and far-sighted decision. A groundbreaking decision both for the Egyptian people and for Egypt as a business location, a decision that will transform your country. It is also a milestone for German-Egyptian economic relations. In Siemens, you have found a strong partner that exemplifies what Made in Germany means, a company that this year celebrates 175 years of innovation, inventions and technological revolutions. Today we are adding a new chapter to this story, a chapter that will benefit both of our countries. Last but not least, you are also setting global standards in climate change mitigation as we approach the 27th United Nations Climate Change Conference in Sharm El Sheikh. The contracts being signed today will see trains replace millions of journeys by car, truck and bus. This means less smoke, fewer carbon emissions and better air quality. And so today is a good day. A good day for Egypt, a good day for economic relations between our two countries and a good day for climate change mitigation. Egypt is becoming a pioneer in rail technology on the African continent. I hope that other countries will follow this example. Thank you for your trust in Germany and in its engineers. I wish all those involved in this major project the greatest possible success, so that in a few years' time we might read in an Egyptian author's novel how the landscapes races effortlessly past him as he sits on the train from Cairo to Aswan. Thank you very much.